In these problems, we're subtracting some mixed numbers, and they want us to use a technique called regrouping. And if you're familiar with just normal subtraction, you'll know that sometimes, let's say we have, you know, 100 minus um, 99. You would start, well, you, you know the answer to that is 1, but you would start here, 0 minus 9, you can't do that because um, the 0 is smaller than the 9, so you'd borrow. So I'd take 1 from this 10 and turn it into a 9 and put the, the 1 up there. Now it's 10 minus 9, which is 1, and the 9 minus 9 is 0, so the answer is 1. So that borrowing and putting it over in this column is, is called regrouping. And we're going to do something similar with these sub subtraction problems with mixed numbers. I'm going to put these up here like this, 4 and 1 third minus 2 and 2 thirds. Now, we'll start with the fraction column. One-third minus two-thirds, well, one-third is smaller than two-thirds. So what I'm going to do is take one away here. I'm going to make this a three, and one hole here is three-thirds here, because one is three-thirds. So we're going to add three-thirds, which makes this four-thirds. Now, four-thirds minus two-thirds is two-thirds. And I have three minus two is one. So, four and a third minus two and two thirds is one and two thirds. Let's try another one like that. I'm going to set it up the same way, three and one eighth minus one and three eighths. So, starting with the fraction column here, one eighth is less than three eighths. So, I'm going to borrow. So, this three is going to go down to a two. That one I bring over here, since we're in eighths, it's going to be eight eighths. So, this becomes nine eighths. 1 eighth plus 8 eighths is 9 eighths, and 9 eighths minus 3 eighths, well that's easy, that's 6 eighths, and then 2 minus 1 is 1. Let's do one more. So this is 5 and 1 fourth minus 4 and 1 half. And right away here, I think I might have a problem. I've got different denominators. So let's pause a second and figure out um, how to change this one half into fourths. And you should know how to do that. If I multiply a two by the top and the bottom, so I'm multiplying by two over two, I would get two fourths. So one half is the same as two fourths. You probably knew that already. So let's change that here, two fourths. Now we can do our subtraction. One fourth minus two fourth. Well, uh, one fourth is smaller than two fourths, so we'll have to borrow. That becomes, that five goes down to a four. And now, we're, since we're in fourth, it's, it's four fourths that we add here. So it's four fourths plus the one fourth that's already there, five fourths. And five fourths minus two fourths is three fourths. Five minus two is three. And then we have four minus four, which is zero. So that's our answer. Five and a quarter minus four and a half is just three fourths. So that is uh, working on subtraction with mixed numbers and regrouping.